Welcome to my second unboxing video. It's Plush and Much. And you can find me at Plush and Much at pretty much anywhere. Gmail, Facebook, and my eBay store. So the information's on the screen and I hope you enjoy this. Um, please forgive my snorty little Frenchie dog that likes to do jewelry with me. And my hands that are farm worn. If you would like to purchase anything you see in this video, please either shoot me an email at plushandmuch at gmail.com or on Facebook you can send me a message or you can visit my eBay store where everything I say that I will be listing individually will be listed later on. And I always have craft boxes available for $3 a pound at any given time. Thank you. Okay, we're going to start this unboxing of a Macari buy. And I wanted to start off by just showing how it came packaged. It was packaged pretty well. She did a good job, or he. Um, this was a lot from one seller. And so when I buy things that are a little more curated, I would expect a little bit better quality than just a huge bulk lot from somewhere. So we'll see if that's the case. I'm going to take these out and start one by one. We'll start with the orange one, and if you hear some snoring, it's just my little Frenchie. She's up here helping snoring. Makes noises all the time. So we're gonna un we're gonna open these packages and see what we have in our lot. Then at the end, I'll show you what I paid for it, and you can decide if it was worth it. Okay, so this is a multi-strand black and gold necklace Let's see it's one five strands pretty good condition I would say it's heavy it's not real light um, it's got a box clasp on it you don't see any signatures but I could have missed it this is a little loose but it could probably be overlooked not bad Let's see what else is in the orange bags there she is she's snoring for us if I put her down on the floor she'll whine and that's way worse than the snoring I promise Okay, what do we have here? Mm, gold tone something. There's a gold tone scarf clip. Appears to be in good condition. I think we have any signatures, but it's, it's in good shape. Sellable piece. Is. It is a necklace. I think it's two necklaces, they're just tangled here. And it's a Trafari. Good condition, nice finish. That's sellable for sure. And we have a pin. And it's gold tone. And let me check the signature quick. It's a Napier. Nice leaf. It's fall. You can definitely put that up for using keywords like fall and autumn. This is also Napier. Let's see that or not. Nice condition. A little bit of wear on the clasp area, but not not bad at all. And this has a little knot in it. I'm not sure if that's... Yep. Oh, came right out. So we're good. It's a Crown Trafari chain. Gold tone. Nice finish. For sure sellable. We have a pin. A brooch. Here. Oh, it's really pretty. You can see that. The... I don't know if this is, I think, lucite. Feels like lucite. It's not cold enough to be glass. The rhinestones are all nice and appear to be intact. Let's flip it over. Well made. It's heavy. 
And it is signed. It's a Coro Pegasus. Nice piece. See what's in the last orange baggy here. Get these out of the way. We have some earrings. Here's one pair. They appear to be in good condition. Nice shape. I don't. They're signed Hong Kong. These are sellable. Some nice wave gold tone earrings. There's a little greening, but nothing too bad. I don't see a signature on those, but they are sellable. Clean them up with a little vinegar. They'll be fine. A little pendant here, I believe it is. Nice vintage condition. Has a little bonus hair on there, but we'll take care of that. There is some signature right there. I'll have to check that out. It's a Coral Pegasus also. It's a nice little pendant. Have some Trafari earrings, clip-ons, gold tone, pretty good finish. Those are definitely sellable. Have some leaf clip-ons here, good for fall. Appear to be in pretty good condition. And they are Lisner, which is a good brand name. They usually make pretty good quality items. Last pair of earrings here. Nice cabochon. I think they're glass. Gold tone. Clip-on earrings. Don't see a brand on them, but they'll sell by themselves. They're pretty good quality. And the last thing in this little bundle here. Out of the way. It's a little pearl or faux pearl necklace. This is modern. I can tell because of the clasp. It doesn't look like the clasp has been replaced. So my guess is um, this is just a modern clasp. Not vintage. A lot of people list this vintage and they would be wrong. That lobster clasp, clasp is usually a dead giveaway. Doesn't mean it's not sellable, just means it's not old. Here we have a bracelet. Has a safety chain, and a safety chain usually means better quality. You don't usually get a lot of really cheap stuff with a safety chain. Gold tone's in pretty good shape. Let me look for a signature up close here quick. I don't see one, but I probably will look a little bit on this one because the quality is there. So that was all that was in the orange packet. Now we have green ones. Maybe. Move the other things around a little bit. And if you stick around to the end, I do try to be completely transparent on what I paid for a lot, why I paid that much for a lot, and then I usually try to do at least one eBay listing live on an item that I picked out for sale from the lot. So you can see the process from beginning to end. These are nice enamel, a little swirl and the teal and the um, cream colored, gold tone back. Post pierced, and they are Trafari. Those for sure can be sold. More earrings, it looks like. Ooh, these are pretty red screw backs. Gold tone, very sparkly. Um, I don't see a maker, but they are 
They're pretty enough. They'll stand alone. There's nice clip-on gold tone. Some flowers. I don't see... Oh, my dog's making noise again. I don't see any maker's marks or anything on here, but I will look. They're nice and heavy. Keep those. Oh, this one is missing a pearl. However, it appears to be right here, so that probably happened while it was shipping. So she didn't send me. I don't believe she sent it damaged. And I'll set that aside. Okay, we have some really pretty, but these are missing rhinestones here and here. So those are going to have to go to the craft a lot, even though they are super shiny. And here's just some solid gold tone clip-ons. Um, these are Trafari, which will sell for sure. See what the next green package holds. She did wrap everything very well, or he. That is nice. I got a box, flat rate box, the other day that had five brooches in it, loose in a small flat rate box, just banging around. There was pieces of brooches all over in the box when I was done, so that's not good. Don't be that seller. Okay, so here we have. A red beaded two-strand necklace does appear to be vintage look at the bottom it says Japan oops sorry it's Japan pretty good condition I'd say um, that's probably sellable some of the Japan stuff does sell here is just a maroon and gold tone beaded necklace and it is a Trafari. It would be a newer Trafari. It's got the trademark symbol on it. And I will probably list it just because it's a Trafari. Somebody will want it for their collection. Here is a charm bracelet. I always like charm bracelets. I usually list them even if they don't appear to be anything too special. Just because they're fun. I always check the bottoms of the charms because if anything is going to be labeled for metals or anything of that nature, they um, it's usually on the bottom, sometimes the side, but usually the bottom of the charm. The little seal and little trolley, some fun stuff. See what's in this one. I do focus a little bit more on the business side of things. I feel more comfortable showing different ways that things work on eBay. And um, But since I obviously have to source like the rest of everyone since I do sell jewelry full time on eBay, um, I thought I would try a couple unboxing videos and then try to tie in some of the business things with the unboxing videos and see how that goes. Um, I've said it before, but um, I appreciate that everybody not to hate on me for my rough hands. It's just because we're sheep farmers and my hands get used pretty rough sometimes. So this is a nice, um, really sparkly gold tone bangle. And it is signed, I think. I think that's the new Napier signature in there. I'll have to double check before I list it, but it's very, very pretty. This looks like the red, white, and blue Sarah Coventry earrings and necklace that I always run across, but who knows? Let me check. I do not see that, so it must not be, but I will try to clean it up. There's a few um, gold wear, but I think we can clean that up. People like the patriotic look, and it is vintage. I am unsure about this. Oh, it's an Anne Klein. Incline there. It's in pretty good condition. I am assuming this is a necklace. So I'm going to look into this. I'm assuming it goes like that. Very pretty. I will look that up. And we have a very nice flat silver tone chain in very good condition. 
you can see it very well there. And let's see what the clasp is. It is signed. It is signed Trafari. So for sure we're going to list this. Beautiful, beautiful Trafari necklace in really good shape. It looks like we have three pins or star, yeah. There's a little leaf pin. Not anything special. This will probably go in the craft lot or in the bulk lot. Here's a little sweater clip. Kind of has a shell look to it. In the back. And it is signed um, West Germany. So I'll probably list that. And then we have a flower. It's not very heavy metal, but it's in good condition. So I think we will probably list that. Okay, we're down to our very last package here. Um, if you want to buy anything that you see in here, just uh, shoot me an email or a message on Facebook. I am plush and much everywhere. I'm plush and much on eBay, plush and much on Facebook, and plush and much on Gmail. So plush and much at gmail.com, all one word. So if you can remember plush and much, you'll be able to find me. And I uh, we used to sell plush, but. I haven't for quite some time, but I, I was established under Plush and Much, and I didn't want to change my name, so. This is a very nice necklace here. It's cool to the touch. It's definitely a statement type piece. Definitely be listing that. Oop, there's something else in there. Again, she did, or he, or whoever, shipped very well. Everything was packaged nicely. And it's got a toggle clasp. They are cold. Well made. So I will probably list this for sure. It's nice, sturdy. I don't think it's old, but that doesn't mean it can't be pretty. I prefer the vintage just because that's what I seem to know. But it doesn't mean that I can't appreciate a nice newer piece. This is just a, uh, doesn't have much stretch, a little stretch, not much, but it's got the pretty heart, turquoise heart on it. Um, that'll probably go to a lot. Same with this. It is cold and it does have a little more stretch to it, but it'll probably go to a lot. A metal necklace. It's got different variations in it. Um, I do not see any signatures. I'm not sure about that one quite yet. Here's a nice copper cuff bracelet. It's decent sized. It has some nice markings on it. I don't see a signature, but I'll probably sell that. Here is a little glass beaded panda. And it will probably go to a lot, even though it's super cute. I always have craft lots available at all times for $3 a pound. My craft lots sometimes have wearable in it, sometimes have broken things, sometimes they're just pieces. It's just whatever I chuck in there at that time. So, like these things that go to a lot will probably be sold in those lots also. I do make special wearable lots sometimes that I guarantee everything in the package will be wearable. Um, those are usually $5 a pound, but you can buy those in a large flat rate box or in a flat rate padded envelope for $10 shipping or the large flat rate is $19.90 a box for shipping. I have some people that get them automatically every month for their store and seem to be pretty happy with them. So there's a pin, a bird pin. It's metal. It's copper, I believe. Yep. That's nice. Um, little purple breast cancer, I believe, ribbons. 
And we have some feather earrings. They're on the modern side, I believe, but they're nice and sparkly and fun. Somebody will probably enjoy those. And it's a nice little, I'm not sure if they're real or not. I'll check. I don't think so. I think it's dyed howlite, but I'm not sure if they could be little nuggets, but they're not real cold. But it's still a nice silver with some turquoise tone on it. There's some little dream catcher earrings. All right, this is our last bag. Okay, this is kind of interesting here. I don't think that this is real either, but no, it's not. These aren't cold enough, and they're not heavy enough, but they are. It's very pretty, and it's got a cool little door locket thing on it that you could put something in. Probably something sentimental, maybe. Opens up. So it is pretty neat. And it, uh, it's got a modern clasp on it. But it's pretty cool. I'll definitely sell that. Oop, and this needs restrung, apparently. This is a beggar's beads necklace, if you haven't seen one. The stones are all cold. They are real. And they have the uh, gold spacer. Spacer beads in between them. These will obviously go in my craft lot because I don't repair or restring anything. So in the craft lot, you may very well get things that are very nice and just missing one rhinestone because I don't fix anything. So thank you very much for watching this unboxing. And this again was a Macari lot. Thank you. So we are on the same lot from Macari, but I found this in the bottom of the box. So before we can do our totals, or have a good judgment of how we did on this lot. I figure we better finish unwrapping it. It's stuck in the bottom. So, we have here, we have another scarf clip, but it is, it's a very pretty scarf clip. And it's got a rose on it. So we'll probably list that. Um, the hat pin or the stick pin, sorry. I have a, I, I do those always in lots. I don't know enough about them to sell them separately. They will go in my stick pin lot. These are some very pretty screw back earrings, roses and rhinestones. Gold tone looks pretty good condition. I don't see a signature on them, but they're they're nice enough to stand on their own. I think we didn't throw all these away, huh? We've done things like that before. If you have a favorite piece that you've seen in this lot, please comment. I would love to hear. It's always interesting how everybody likes different things. I try to pick things from my eBay store that aren't all the same or that just aren't the things just I love. So I think these maybe used to always be gold tone all the way around and maybe there's just some silvering wear around the edges but it's actually kind of cool. It has that worn rustic look so I will probably still list these. They're nice big statement type earrings with the red cabochons. These are some pretty beaded cluster earrings. So, and I'm sorry for the tractor going by. Like I said, we're sheep farmers. So sometimes we have farm noise around here. Not much we can do about it. There's a little greening on the back that could easily be cleaned up with some vinegar. So I think these are still very listable. They're nice, nicely made. They have a lot of definition. Kind of cool. Oh, what are these? Oh, those are pretty. Might be glass. There's some really nice clip ons. Really nice uh, rhinestone sparkle there. Don't see, and these are like root beer type type of glass or stones. 
Very nice. I don't see a maker's mark, but I will look closer. And oh, we got two more. You know, not finding this would have really made this a more expensive per piece project. So, had actually thrown this away. I believe that is a glove holder, I think is what they call those. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might go on a lot. I'm not sure. A nice older ring. Purple stone in the middle. Some gold tone wear and loss, but it's it's pretty solidly made. It does say something in the middle here. Let me look. Oh, it's a Whiting and Davis. So I will probably keep that aside. I'll have to leave her good feedback that she did a great job packaging things. Or he, I guess I should look before I make these videos. Don't want to offend anybody. And there's some great Macari sellers out there that are men that sell jewelry. My 16 year old makes all of his income besides sheep from selling watches on Macari. So I think his stores watch this on Macari. This is a very pretty necklace. There's a couple stones that are a little dark, um, but this mesh is very popular. The back is good and clean. It does look like a older clasp. Let's see if it's signed. I don't think it is, but it's a nice piece. Probably keep that out. You can disclose dead or, or darkening stones. Some people don't care if they're just going to wear it and it's not too bad. It's a nice iridescent purple beaded necklace. Real light, lucite plastic type stuff. This looks like a Germany. Yep, it's a Western Germany clasp. Oops, sorry. It's upside down. So I will list that for sure. Clean it up. I do not do a lot of cleaning to my jewelry. I wipe them down with some microfiber. And that's about it because I don't want to ruin them. All right, I think that's it for real this time. Okay, I'm going to just cover up my address there real quick. So this is the receipt for the bundle that we just went over from Macari. So you can see that my bundle was for $85. That was everything we unboxed together. And our shipping was $9.50. The tax was $5.95. So I paid $100.45. Basically, I'm $100 all in on that lot. So I'm going to go and count the pieces that we have for resale and see how much I'm going to list them for on eBay on my Plush and Much eBay store and see how we came out. I like to try to look at bundles or items. I'd like one thing, two things to pay for the whole lot. I don't think we're gonna make it on this one, but I did bundle four lots together to make my bundle, so you never know. Okay, now we're ready to do the business part of this. So we're going to go on to my eBay store. I don't really hide my numbers. It is what it is. Good, bad, or in between. I'm going to go into my actives. And we're going to find another pair of Trifari earrings that I have sold or that are listed. There's some good example there. I'm going to go into here. We're going to sell similar off my own item. This is really important because we don't want to be selling similar off other people's items and bringing in their junk that we do not want in our store. We're going to remove the photos. I took photos right before I came on. So we're going to pick our photos for our eBay listing. And if I want to know the value, if I'm just not sure, I can go right on to my photos and I can pick the picture of the earrings and I can Google lens them. And see if they have a name, which they don't appear to have a name. It's vintage Trafari enameled gold metal earrings. That sounds about right. Um, I would say geometric shape, maybe. So right there, you know, so maybe at my store, maybe they're $14.99. So that will work for us. 
go back to my eBay store. We're going to go vintage. They are not clip-on earrings. Trafari enamel. And they are pierced earrings. And they are what I would call a cream and teal green. So we're going to put cream. We'll just put green in their gold tone. Maybe we'll put gold tone. And then the measurement is always really important because people, you know, in a picture, this this could look 10 inches, this could look, this could be half an inch. So it's important to provide the measurement for your customer or they will bother you and keep asking you for, you don't want them to have to bother you, you want to just give them the information up front. And they were 1.25 inches. And then you'll go in and it's, we have the right category already pulled up since we're selling similar off a um, specific item. Go to the item specifics. Yes, it's pre-owned. The brand is Trafari. And they are earrings. The main stone, there really isn't a stone on this one. Gold is okay for the color because that's the main background color. There is enamel. Women department. It's not a clip-on. Base metal is unknown. The shape. And it's kind of a funky one, so we're going to leave that blank. It's the fashion department. Sign, yes. Vintage, yes. Custom skew for me is always the day's date. I'll go over my inventory system in a video one of these times. So that's all done. My description should already be there from the previous listing. It is normal vintage wear. It's actually in pretty good shape, but I really like to under-promise and over-deliver when I can. Going to change the price to $14.99. Yes on offer, offers. No, I don't want to schedule it. My current shipping policy is already there. There's my return policy. It's all there. My business policies. And I'm running a promoted listings campaign. So we are good to list it. So that is our item there that we listed from our lot. And it should show up here in a second there it is and we want to talk about if we made any money on this so we're going to go back so it looks like we paid two dollars and 38 cents with 42 sellable items so that's our cost of goods sold i think we did okay and molly's just apologizing for all of her little noises please go to our pages like subscribe we really appreciate it